Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video, we're going to start with AWS batch service that is provided by Amazon. So before we proceed further, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Azure Cloud Chef. I'll mention the link in the description of the video. So before we proceed further, let me just check out the official Amazon documentation regarding AWS batch. Well, as per the official Amazon documentation, it says Amazon AWS batch enables you to run batch computing workloads on the AWS cloud. Batch computing is a common way for developers, scientists and engineers to access large amount of compute resources. In AWS batch remove the undifferentiated heavy lifting of configuring and managing the required infrastructure similar to traditional batch computing software. As a fully managed service, AWS batch enables you to run batch computing workloads of any scale. AWS batch automatically provisions compute resources and optimizes the workload distribution based on the quantity and scale of the workloads. With AWS batch, there is no need to install or manage batch computing softwares, which allows you to focus on analyzing results and solving problems. So in a nutshell, if you would see the components of the AWS batch, it says AWS batch is a regional service that simplifies is running batch jobs across multiple availability zones within a region. You can create AWS batch compute environments within a new or existing VPC. So if you have a default VPC, which is created by default on your Amazon account, when you log on to AWS console for the first time, or you sign up for the AWS console, you have a by default, the default VPC that is created. And you can uh, have the AWS batch compute environments in that VPC or in a new VPC that you can create as well. So after a compute environment is up and associated with a job queue, you can define the job definitions and specify which Docker container images to run your jobs. Container images are stored in and pulled from container registries, which are also called container repositories, which may exist within or outside of your AWS infrastructure. You have jobs, you have uh, job definition, you have job queues, you have compute environment. A job would be a unit of work such as a shell script, Linux executable or a Docker container image that we will submit to the AWS patch. It has a name and run as a containerized application on an Amazon EC2 instance in the compute environment using the parameter that we will specify in a job definition job definition specifies how the jobs would be run we can think of it as a blueprint of the resource in the job we can supply the job with an iam role to provide programmatic access to the other aws services the job definition can also control container properties environment variables and mount points for persistence storage job queues when we will submit an AWS batch job, we submit it to a particular job queue where it resides until it is scheduled onto a compute environment. You associate one or more compute environments with a job queue and you can assign priority values for these compute environments. You have compute environment. We have compute environment is a set of managed or unmanaged compute resources that are used to run jobs. Managed compute environments allows us to specify desired instance types at several levels of detail. We can set up compute environments that use a particular type of instance, a particular model such as any size, it can be C4 or M4. AWS Batch will if efficiently launch, launch, manage and terminate EC2 instance as needed. We can also manage our own compute environments and in this case, we would be responsible for setting up and scaling the instances in Amazon ECS cluster. So in the, from the next video, we will look on to the getting started tab. We will define some AWS bad jobs. We will define some definitions, queues. We will try to do some scheduling. We will try to configure some compute environments. And that is how we are going to cover some nuts and bolts regarding AWS batch service provided by Amazon managed service account managed service list. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you're also excited to 
do more on the AWS batch. So I'll see you in the next video and do not forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have any feedback, mention them in the comment section. Till next time, have a good day. Bye-bye.